Alright, so right now the uh, sun is completely covered by clouds. And so now we're going to take uh, a couple of readings of this uh, little solar cell here. And uh, to begin with, we'll get voltage. And I got to get the uh, terminals right. And now you can see when I get a good connection of the solar cell, we have a 6.3 volts. Looks like sun's coming out a little bit more. Looks like uh, we're getting almost full sun. Now we'll measure the current. Okay, now I got my cell with the uh, wires I already soldered onto here. I'm going to take a measure of current, trying to get it in the sunlight. And you can see with this uh, cell, we get about uh, 20 milliamps. In uh, sunlight, the sun's under the cloud again, so it's not as bright as it would be. Looks like the sun's coming out a little bit. But uh, looks like we get about 20 milliamps through this cell in uh, fairly bright light. So now let's compare that with uh, more indoor light. So I have a lamp here. It's not terribly bright. Uh, I would guess maybe this light would be as much as a 120 watt light bulb or so. But uh, in any case, you can see uh, down here, we're only getting one or two milliamps, but if I get it in the light right, we can get above about uh, six milliamps. So that's uh, about the difference from outdoor to indoor. It's not even fully uh, sunny out. But uh, in any case, these cells cost about a dollar right now on eBay. So they're uh, six volt cells, and I just showed you about the current you can expect even when it's a uh, cloudy day. I had to solder the wires onto these ones though. I also got the tape kind of holding the wires. This is just kind of a prototype cell to easily plug into breadboards and stuff. Most of my experimenting with these cells are on the breadboard. But uh, in any case, I just thought I'd take some measurements while we have a somewhat nice day out there, give you an idea what these cells are capable of.